You ready to see what kind of paranormal stuff we can find today? I know you are. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. All right, so let's go. What's Dina doing? Oh, what is this? She found something, guys. What is it? What's going on, adventurers? We are currently getting ready to go out on an adventure. And guess who we have with us today? Somebody we haven't brought with us for quite a while. It is the paranormal pup ready to go into action. You ready, Thine? You ready to see what kind of paranormal stuff we can find today? I know you are. Let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! So one of the reasons we decided to come up to this particular trail is because a lot of you guys know about Lay. We talk about him quite a bit in our videos and he always comes through whenever we do the spirit box sessions. So this is actually the furnace. We've had you here before. The video was quite a while back, but I might include some of that video because that video was pretty intense. I might include a little bit of that in this video just to give you guys a little bit of a background. We're gonna show you we're gonna try to get as close as we can to it. This is the back way. We've never been here. What? Don't look now. It's paranormal pup turn day. Oh no. Oh. Lise? <laughs> that was for me, I guess. You gonna carry the poopy bag? We need a paranormal pup poopy bag. I got a poopy bag. Here we go. All right. Gross. Lisa is on duty duty. I have to Thanks clean it. Thanks for that. But she has to carry it. Ugh. It sounds like a fair trade to me. It looks like the trail does split up here, guys. We are gonna head to the left because that is where our mission is taking us. Right, Tina? Is that right? It's a tree it's yeah. Come on. Lisa was just saying how nice that poopy bag smells. There's a possibility. We might turn that scent into a fragrance sometime soon. Look at this, guys. Oh boy. Now be careful because Seems to be a very small log in the road here. I'm gonna move that out of the way here. So nobody trips over it. When I say nobody, I mean myself or Lisa because <laughs> we're very accident prone. What do you see? What do you see? This is really cool. Yeah, this is it. This is the furnace, guys. We made it. It is right up here. You doing okay? Yeah. Look at this savage right here. Look at this savage. She is doing it, guys. It's going to be straight soon, so I'm just showing how crooked it is. Yeah, this is for posterity, as Adam Lewu would say. Anymore. Get a check. This is awesome. Like, I'm so proud of her, guys. Regardless of her limitations, she's still. All right, so let's go. That's what I'm saying. Like, I need a. What's Dina doing? What are you doing? Oh! What is this? She found something, guys. What is it? What the freak is this? What is that? Okay. Seriously, one of the creepiest things that I've ever seen in my life, guys. What is it? Dina, sit. <sighs> Did she find that? She found this. Dina. Dina, sit. sit. Dina, what is this? Come here. Dina, sit. She smelled it. Dina, sit. Look, what is this? Maybe she thought it was a dog toy, but it's not a dog it's toy. It's not a dog toy. Here, hold it up a minute. Let me show everybody. What? Uh, Look at this. This is so creepster, it's guys. Okay, so let me tell you, well, you can see obviously why it's Creepster, but let me go ahead and fill you in on a little bit of information. So first of all, for those of you guys that don't know, okay, so <laughs> let me just tell you guys something here real quick. Okay, so obviously this is Donald Duck, but the Creepster aspect, the Creepster factor is that he is missing his beak. Is he speechless? I think he's speechless because he doesn't have a choice. I've never seen a Donald without a Donald beak. Uh, so anyway, here's the weird information though. Lisa and I just found out we are gonna actually be going to Disney World 
We just found this out for my birthday. So, ew, did you just poop and now you're buttholing me? That's disgusting. <laughs> She's like, aren't you proud of me? Look what I found. Uh-huh. Okay, so this is cool. This is an interesting turn of events. Uh, I don't know what it means, but I do know. I think I'm going to add it to my collection. Yeah. I don't have a collection of weird Disney stuff, but I, I do have... I wonder how old... The... I've never seen one like this. And this is interesting. One of his feet, maybe that's normal, has a hole in the other, or whatever you call it. What well, do they call that? weird. Not a feet, but... Yeah, it's, it's a, a foot. foot. It's a duck foot. One has a hole. Huh. That's weird. That is really weird. Okay. What do you think it is? Or Just Donald? a toy? Yeah, like a, yeah, like a toy. Well, I mean, still, I have to keep following it. The arms don't move or anything. Wow, that is crazy. I don't even know what to say, Tina. How Good job, Tina. did you find this guy? She is a paranormal. Puppet. She is, I don't. Well, we don't know if it's paranormal, but we could certainly do a necrophonic with it and see. Oh yeah, let's try that. Well, first I want to just explore over here real quick. Let's get a little closer to this. Me and Thina are going to go over here. Come on, Thina. Let's go back here, Thina. Look, this is it. This is the furnace. Look how high we are right now. We're on top. We're on top of the furnace. I know. You can see right here where it's caving. Um, and this is the top. We're going to take you guys around and show you the front. Like I said, I'm going to include some of the previous video that we actually did do in here. I was going to see if there's a way to get around this way. Okay, Jen's going closer to the edge of the iron furnace so she can get through. This is really sketch here. Let me get right under here and then I'll turn she's around. Gonna, around Tina can make it look. She's of course she can. She's short. <laughs> so I'm saying like she is the paranormal pup. She's I got no problem going in there. Go get them, girl. Just have to break the branches. Oh. Okay. All right. Hold on, Tina. Ow! You need some lappers. Did you get that? Good girl. Okay. I think I'm through. Okay. I think we made it, guys. Looks like we made it. My hair is still partially stuck in the branches, but that's okay. I'll get all the bugs out later. Just to give you guys perspective, we've made it through all this. But Lisa is waiting right here for me. All right, so let's just take a look real quick, guys. Can't see a whole lot from up here, but this is where the furnace is. It's like right in front of us there. You can see the ledge right there, guys. Pretty cool. What is it? What is it, Dina? Where are you going? She is excited. Oh, all right. Here, come back here. What? Where? It's just like a piece of tire or something. All right, let me take her down here for a second. I'll be right back. Stay there, okay? You hear me? All right, let's go see what's back here. Back here. Come on. Oh no, it's a pot. It's a broken pot. Come here, Thane. Come on. Good girl. Oh, there's a bone. Is that a bone? No, it's a piece of, it's a root. It looks like a bone though. That was weird. Yeah. Look here, this is so cool. It's a down tree, but it looks like a fort. There's a broken pot there Athena just found. She found some Budweiser. Wow, this is wild. We've never been back here, guys getting kind of overgrown but man that's really cool looking so guys we are being really careful watching for copperheads back here because if you guys didn't know the most dangerous uh venomous snakes in this area this is maryland are actually copperheads and also the eastern diamondbacks so we we're keeping an eye out for them it is still a little chilly but you know it's possible because it's so sunny today and pretty warm that they could surface you just never know oh you know what there might be another way around look at this Look at this. Go, team. Go. Turn around. Come on. Go. 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 Don't car. Don't car that way. Look at this. Upon first look, that kind of looked like a snake, so that made me a little nervous. But it's not. It's okay. Look at this. I think we found a way out. I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we're gonna make it out of here alive. It was a close one, though. Look at her, she's leading me. 
to start taking her on more adventures. She seems to enjoy it. All right, go find mommy. Go for, where's mommy? Hey. Uh, Look, we did it. Whose turn is that? I got the scent. <laughs> so you want to go sit on the bench and do the neck yeah, Let's, let's, let's do that with the duck. There is a bench right up this way. So we're going to go have a seat and we're going to do a necrophonic with that weird duck that we just found. The Donald duck that was uh, without beak <laughs> and see what happens. Come on, get your pee-pee bag. <laughs> bag. Get it, get your bag. No? Okay, <laughs> mommy will get it. Get a, nice, get a nice video of that. That's great. Come on, get us a bit of video. There it is. Thank you, Tina, for that present. <laughs> she said, you're welcome, mom. You're welcome. All right, so there's a nice little bench down here. Getting ready to take up residence right there for. They, I think they have a doggy poopy bag dispensary down there somewhere. Oh, do they? I didn't I see that. I saw it. Okay. Just remembered it. There we go. Can't have That's a good girl sitting pretty. She's like, hey, mom, I found him. I found him. Look at that. Being good. Look who's being a very good girl. Who's being a very good girl? It's Lisa. She's being a very good girl. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Twang. You want your duck? You want to see your duck? You want to see the duck? Why don't you check out the duck for a minute? Do you know the thing with her Dobermanness? She's always she's on, trying to chew his foot off. She's on guard no. as well as curious. She will be able to uh, just hike and enjoy herself and do some paranormal pup stuff. Right, girl? Get yeah, good girl. She's so excited. Athena. That's really good she laid down. She's not jumping around. Where are you, princess? Look at this. Look what's happening over here. All right, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do the EVPs. All right. I've got my nec necrophonic. I'm so sad he doesn't have a beak. That's awful. I know. Athena, what happened to his beak, honey? You have a doctor for that? I nice called system. the big doctor and this is what he said. <laughs> you know what I want to know? I want to know if Lay might have put him here for us. So I'm going to ask that straight up. Right. Let me first say hi to Lay though. Lay, are you here? Sounded like him. I want to hold it a little closer because of the wind. That's fine. So. Lay, is that you? I think I heard it, yeah. Do you know anything about this toy, this Donald Duck toy? That's yes. Lay, did you leave Donald here for us to find? <laughs> Can you tell us what happened to this toy? Why is his beak missing? It's a really, really cool toy, but I'm kind of freaked out because this beak is just like missing. Is there a spirit connected with this toy? Just want to point out for a second that Athena is buttholing Lisa. <laughs> She's my protector. She protects you with her butthole. Does anybody... Uh, do any spirits recognize this toy? Break. 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 Because it's broken. Yeah, somebody broke it. Who broke it? Oh. Heather. Watch out. What? What? No, it went away. Squirrel. Oh. I got her. Okay, let me ask you another question. Um, do you know where its beak is? Oh. I just heard screaming. Did you hear that? Could have been from this furnace. It's right next door. Maybe there's a tormented spirit here. You want to ask him? Is there a tormented spirit here? Was that you screaming? Ooh. Yes. We fought? She did it. 
That is crazy, guys. It sounded like it came from right back here. There's nobody back there. We were just back there. Are there any spirits behind us? Oh. <laughs> Dead. Is she on the trail of something? Yeah, Are you hot on the trail? What is it, girl? She's sniffing the thing. She's trying to find something else to butthole. You got... Do you, do you spirits see our dog? She... Who is she? Can you guys tell us the name of our dog? How is a chihuahua? What's that, Petunia? <laughs> Was. Can you please tell us the name of our dog, guys? Uh, Tina. She, yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for speaking with us today. We really do appreciate it. Just know that we are protected. Whoa. That was creeps. I'm trying to turn it. It won't turn itself off. Okay, we need to stop now. Sometimes that happens. You can't. It's true. Uh, as I was saying, we are protected by the power of God, and you are not allowed to follow us home. You must remain here. Amen. Amen. Right, Dina? Is that true? It's a good girl. Dober Cam. Dober Cam. My good girl. Is it a Who's my good girl? She did good there was a squirrel in there and she didn't want to pursue it. Maybe she didn't see it. <laughs> Dober Cam. Hi. No, let's see how she. Re oh no, she's just talking. All right, guys. So I just wanted to go over this duck again with you real quick. Now that we're sitting. So first of all, you can tell that he's really, really old. I mean, definitely based on the the hard plastic that he's made out of. Like it's the hard plastic. Now they do it usually out of like silicone or um, maybe like more rubbery materials. This is like. Here, like flick it for me. Yes. Well, actually, here. There. Tap it with this. Yeah. Pole. With yours metal. With oh, your metal. metal. Yeah. Okay, you can hear it. Yeah. So that's like really thick, pla like old plastic. Um, and like Lisa was saying, you can see that he has a hole in his foot. I, if any of you guys know what purpose that would serve, let us know. It's really interesting. And I mean, you can tell that he was well loved. Like there's little remnants of stickers all over him. It looks like. Maybe a little bit of the paint was melted off the back of his head or something there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. It's interesting. But he's got like little remnants of stickers there on his tail feathers and on the back of his hand there. But I don't know. I've always loved Donald. I can, I can kind of relate to him. He's an angry little duck. But he's so funny when he gets upset. But, you know, there won't be any hollering for him or any fooey saying or any of that because he doesn't have a beak. So it's going to be really difficult for him to say all that. Thank you for finding this duck today. We appreciate that. Good girl. Dina. Thank you for finding Donald. You are the paranormal pup, aren't you? Yes, you are. Guys, look how cute it is when she lays down. I call it the deer. This is the deer pose where she puts her paws down in front of her like that, like folded up. The other one's actually all the way tucked underneath oh of her. Oh my but God, I can't see it. It's so cute. She's being a very good girl. <laughs> I was just saying to Lisa that since Athena did so good today, we might have to take her to McDonald's and get her a hamburger. We're not going to get the onions because, of course, onions are toxic to dogs, but we'll just get her a plain hamburger and maybe the roll. She'll probably be fine with that. What do you think about it, Athena? You want to go get a hamburger? Yeah. I think I could go for a hamburger. a hamburger. Want a hamburger? Yeah. Okay. Let's go get some yeah. snackage. I think that's a yes. Oh, that little girl's looking. Oh. Go get some snackage. All right, we're getting back in the car. We're gonna go get some treats. We're gonna go get some treats. Look how good she is. Ready for this, guys? Sit. Sit. Go get in. Good girl. Now we have to clip her in real quick. I leave their leash on her and then I clip her in. So that way she's ready to grab when we get out next time. All right, now let's see who gets in the car better. Dina? Or Lisa. <laughs> what? Are you comparing? Let's see. To Athena. Yep. Oh, 
Well, of course she's better. <laughs> Let's see. Jump in there like that. Let's go. I always have to pull my pants up and she doesn't. Uh, that's true. That's she gets fair. to save a step. That's not fair. It's not fair. Right. Oh, well, that was pretty good. That was pretty seamless. How was that? Yeah, nice. All right, I'll be back. I got poopy patrol. I'm gonna take the poopy over, Trust put it. it in the container. You can come pick me up if you want. Maybe we can get you. Huh? Maybe we can pick you up. All right. All right, I'm getting it. We're doing it guys, we're throwing the poopy in the poop canister. We can do it. It stinks, it stinks. Oh, we made it. We'll take a couple with us, just in case. There we go, all set now. Smell you later. Yeah, smell you later, for real. I'm gonna actually film as we're driving by this place. All right guys, so this is where we just came from. And now we're getting ready to drive you past Lay Furnace, which is the place that I'm gonna insert the video about. A lot of you guys that have followed us for a while know all about Lay, but if you don't, we're gonna have some more videos about him coming up soon, hopefully in the near future. But we walked all up behind here, guys, which was pretty cool. And this is the furnace, guys. This is where we were. We were up there at the top. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like down here. It is crumbling, though. It is kind of scary because, you know, if you're standing on that structure, very high likelihood that it could give out. Yeah, there's the red gate up there, guys. See that? It's pretty cool here, though. And it's definitely haunted. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to insert that video a part of it right here. So currently we are standing in front of this place right here, which is what we told you about in a previous video. This is the furnace where Sam was thrown into by Lay Master. You know, I don't know that he did it himself. We're still not sure about that. The story is not conclusive. We're gonna do a spirit box session here in a couple minutes and see if maybe Sam will come and talk to us. Um, we got the Necrophonic app and I'm gonna go ahead and just actually face you toward the furnace just in case anything pops out and Sam wants to make an appearance. Let me just hold this up so you guys know what's up. I don't care. Sam, are you here? Hello. Sam, Sam tell us what happened to you. Were you burned to death? No. We just visited his grave and he said he didn't kill you. Is he telling the truth? It's not like he said he killed Throne. I heard throne. Did he have someone else do it? Yes. No. So I guess that's true, he didn't do it, but he had somebody do it, so technically he's guilty. Is there any way you can make an appearance so we can see you? Can you show yourself to us? It sounded like horses. It did sound like horses. We know your, um, we know your land and plantation were, near, were nearby. Lay, I said his name. I want you to tell Sam he doesn't have to be afraid of you anymore. Tell tell him so you can seek your forgiveness. Tell him you're sorry for what you did. Sorry. Lay, I want you to tell Sam he doesn't have to be afraid of you anymore and you're sorry for what you did. Was that a sorry? 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. Tell him he doesn't have to be afraid anymore. I want Sam to talk to us. And he's afraid of you. He's not going to talk to us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Always that. Yeah, I know. How many spirits are there? Six. Six. Come forward, Sam. We just want to let you know you're not stuck. Have you seen the light? Yes. Walk into the light. Did you want to ask us anything? We just want you to be at peace. I am. Is there anything else that you want to say to us? Afraid and hiding. Is that you, Sam? Or are you afraid and hiding? <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong. You were just protecting the woman you love. That's okay. And it's very honorable. Nobody deserves to be murdered. I'm sorry. Did somebody just say I loved her too? Was that Lay? Did, was that you, Lay? Did you love her? Well, then why did you kill her? Evidence. Like they were looking for something. She, she what? Maybe she was going to tell. Because mm -hmm. they said they came up missing <coughs> shortly after Sam. Yeah. She probably threatened him. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's so sad. Yes. They said yes. You were threatened. So you didn't feel like you had any alternative. Yeah. But man, like they were still alive. Right. You know you were you were, you'd hear him screaming in the walls. Yes. Wow, this is an intense spirit box session. I did. I did. He did hear them screaming in the walls. Did it make you go insane? What did it say? Deep breath. Did you have a fun adventure today, Paranormal Pup? Did you? Did you? This is great. I love car rides. It's a good thing that girl over there has her headphones in her. She'd think we were freaking nuts. <laughs> See you later, Lay Furnace. A lot of bad things happen here, guys, at this furnace. Look, guys, we just decided to stop by and pick up Xena from the house real quick. We had to stop and go to the bathroom anyway, so we figured we would pick up our other baby. And we're going to take them both out to get some treats. So she has no idea why she's in the car right now. But that's what we're doing. We're going to go get some treats. All right, guys. So we already know that Starbucks is famous for their puppuccinos, which is going to work out perfectly for Athena. However, do they have catachinos? That is the question. And today, we're going to find out the answer. Here it is. Moment of truth, guys. Whoa. Do they have puppuccinos and catachinos? We're about to find out. So I think it's to look keep... what's happening here. This Lisa's itching. hand is itching. What does that mean? Can you let everybody know? It usually know? means you're going to get money. Get break bandages. I'm totally down for that. <laughs> we always get excited whenever our hands itch now because of the... <sighs> is it an old wives' tale? Is that what they call it? I don't know. Superstition, I think, is what they, they call it. A superstition. So, how are you feeling, little kitty? Are you feeling superstitious at all right now, or are you just excited about your... Well, we have a cat. Your very first catachino. They're good at things. Like We're going to see if they have one, okay? If not, maybe they could make one special for you. Because you're a very special little girl. Okay? So, we'll see what we'll do for you. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure they got puppuccinos here for you, Thine. Um, So, we know you guys have puppuccinos. Do you also have catachinos? I'm sorry, I'm having, I'm having trouble hearing you. Can we get a puppuccino? 
A puppuccino? Yeah, and then do you have a, for a cat, a catachino? <laughs> um, like something? no we do not. Can we get two puppuccinos? Okay guys, so the answer to the question is yes. No. Okay, well, yes and no. And the reason we're saying that is because we did in fact get her, Xena, our kitty cat, a treat, but they're still calling it a puppuccino. Starbucks, if, you, if you're watching this right now, I think you definitely need to have a puppuccino and a cattuccino or a kittuccino. Maybe so it's not so confusing as to mix it up with cappuccino. Maybe a kittuccino, okay, for kitty. Um, definitely need to have that on your menu, menu as well. A lot more people are out having adventures with their cats, like adventure cats. So don't you think that's a good idea? I think so. And especially we're going to test it and see how she likes it. And if she really likes it, they definitely need a cattuccino or a kittuccino or a kittuccino. 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 I think we should have them coin that. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. She's never had anything out of a cup either. Oh, I think it's a hit. Oh my goodness. Now, I know when we do this with Athena, it's going to be like once and done. So, little Zizi's just taking her time here and enjoying every last lick. She's definitely a Starbucks cat. Who wants her very first ever puppuccino? Oh my gosh. There's no holding She's going back. in. She's gone in on her puppuccino. Oh my goodness. And look who wants some. Look who wants some. Oh, now. She says, hey. Wait a minute. Oh, this is like no hesitancy on this one. She did not hesitate for a second. Oh my gosh. I'm just seeing nose, so you might have to hold it back. All I'm seeing is whipped cream everywhere. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, Athena. That's your treat for your adventure. Athena. Today. You can have, give me that every day. Cappuccino princess. Wow. Is it gone? Let me see. There's a little bit left in there. You think you can finish it or is your snout too big? <gasps> what are you what doing? Happened? What's going on back here? She took the whole cup. Give me food, give me food. All right. Here, you want this? You want that? You want that? You want that? You're missing our face. There you go. Here. <gasps> Whoa! She stole it! Mine now. So we have the plain cheeseburger right here, and this is going to be split amongst Xena and Athena. Although, you already know who's going to get the most of it. Wow, they're both here. Why don't you hang on to this and show the, all this? All right. So, of course, since little Z is not going to eat very much, I'm just going to give her a little bit of cheese. She loves cheese. So Z, Z gets first dibs, huh? She gets a little bit of cheese and some hamburger. Over that. Oh my goodness! Did you still have a finger? No, she got it. <gasps> oh my goodness! We hope you had as much fun as we did today, guys. It was kind of an all over the place adventure. But sometimes we like to do it that way. It's fun. You guys get to see all the stuff that we're getting into. We love you so much, and we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.